Okay, Mongoose Mike here, gonna do a quick video explaining how to winterize and unwinterize a Mongoose model 184HD. Okay, first thing is drain your water tank, which I've already done. So we're gonna drain all the water out of your tank and then shut your main drain valve there. Come up to the front, make sure that your main water valve is closed, and then you're gonna open your antifreeze valve which is right here okay and it will gravity feed antifreeze to the pump you'll see antifreeze coming into the filter housing you see it's turning pink okay once it gets to the air bleed you're good to go so now you've given your pump antifreeze instead of water now as you can see, I always start with my antifreeze just to the base of that brass fitting. Now we just ran some out of it, so some of the antifreeze ran down, but we always wanna have a starting point for our antifreeze. That way when you pump your antifreeze back in, you wanna start just a hair lower than, you wanna stop just a hair lower than where you started. That way you can keep from diluting it and pumping water into your antifreeze tank. So add maybe a gallon or a half a gallon each time. All right. So as soon as we start the engine, the pump's going to start pumping. So it's important that as soon as we start the engine, I'm going to turn the water jet to on. That way it's pumping the antifreeze through the jetter hose. Okay. And you'll see down here, I've got my jetter hose hooked to my three-way valve. And I've chosen the recirculation side. So we're gonna wait for antifreeze to come through the hose. It'll pump it up uh, through the clear hose going back to the water tank. And at that point, I will turn the key off, but I will not turn the water jet back to bypass, okay? Okay. Water jet is on. As you can see, it's sucking antifreeze out of the tank. Now we're just gonna wait for the return line to turn pink Boom, you see the middle line there turn pink. So now it's sent antifreeze all the way through the jet hose, all the way back to your tank. And whatever water was in this hose also was pumped back to your main water tank, okay? So there's two lines left, all right? So now we're gonna switch this over, the ball valve over to return to antifreeze tank. And we're gonna crack open your your very flow valve. So now it will, when I turn the engine back on, it'll pump antifreeze back to the antifreeze tank and through your very flow line. Remember the pump was left on. There it is and there it is. So now we've got antifreeze through all the lines. It's completely winterized, okay? And we're on return to antifreeze. So we shut our very flow valve. And now since we're already hooked to return to antifreeze tank, all we have to do to unwinterize it is put water in it like you would when you're ready to jet. Close your antifreeze valve, open your main water valve and turn it on. And when you turn it on, you'll see your antifreeze level start to rise. And when you get back up to where you started, you shut the engine off and you're ready to jet. Now, like I said, we had pumped some water and a little bit of antifreeze back into your main water tank. So to properly dispose of that, you will put a bucket or something to catch it underneath of your drain, open your main drain, and you dispose of it according to your proper local or national guidelines.